Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bandwagon Jumping. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and hell, it's Ungaro expansion time in Hearthstone. I got a crap ton of packs. Let's go ahead and open them. I'm not a Hearthstone channel. Why am I doing this? Because it's the popular shit and I'm uncreative. So I log into Hearthstone and I see this. I have no idea what it is. Let's find out. Oh. The deuce. That, that mammoth sounded an awful lot like a train. The year of the mammoth. The cards you can use in standard change each year. Ah, so it's representative of the new standard change. Only basic classic in the last two year cards. Yes, wild. Uh, following sets, Leave Explorers, the Grand Term, and Black Rock Mountain have all left rotation. Some classic cards are now wild and can't be played in standard. I have not been following. So, Azure Drake, Sylvanas, and Ragnaros. I knew Ragnaros. I knew Ragnaros was being shifted out of standard. I did not know that Azure or Sylvanas. For me, more Azure Drake. I don't think I ever actually got Sylvanas, funnily enough. Uh, no more power overwhelming. No more four damage for one mana. No more conceal. There is a cat, though. Um, because I own some of these cards. Here's some dust. Thank you. I think I have Ragnaros. I don't have Sylvanas, though. Win ten games in standard play. You've got some standard decks, but you can always create more in your collection. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. But that is not why we are here. We are here, in fact, to open 58 packs. Atoli may or may not join us during this. I don't really know, but we'll find out. All right. Oh. Ooh, they're excited. All right. Let's go with the first one. Can we glitch it? Glitch it a little bit. Hey, okay, here's hoping. All right, with our first pack. Obsidian Shard, one Tar Creeper, one Ironhide, one Ultrasaur, and a Shimmering Tempest. In our next pack, we reveal... Okay, nope, we didn't reveal anything special there. Let's see, we got one rare. Firefly, add one, two elementals to your hand, so okay. Ah, I really like the plus attack on the enemy turn. I just, I like there being a little more activity on your side of the board during the opponent's turn, so that's nice. Razor Petal Volley. Don't know what those are. Five tell to a minion and your hero, that's nice. And the rare is a Molten Blade. Alright, we're going to go for the next pack, and inside we find a... Atoli! Hey, there was an Atoli in that pack. How you doing, Atoli? I'm good. Alright. Atoli, how are you feeling about the Tidal Surge meta? Uh, the what? Yeah. <laughs> so, Tidal Surge, four, restore four, poisonous weapons, that's... Actually, that's really nice. Um, that's really good. Um... Discover your opponent's class. You control another Murloc, so more for the Murloc deck. And a nice little adapt for three. That's not bad. So what's your feelings on the, the current state of the Hearthstone meta? Uh, I don't know anything about the current state of the Hearthstone meta. Alright, that was good That was good feedback. Thank you very much. That You're was welcome. totally joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Um, I agree with Spike. Card looks... The art does look... Deal two damage to a minion, one damage to adjacent ones. Okay. So basically, it's minor explosive shot. Mm -hmm. So I have heard that the part of the goal with this expansion was to try and like slow the game down a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was r really fast before. Oh. You know, rush decks and pirate decks kind of dominated everything. Right. So we get a bit more. I mean, I mean, look at the value here. I mean, this this could screw you over, but you're getting for two a two six with taunt. The enemy gets three three one or three one ones. Right. Is trade. Could be really good if the opponent's hand's empty. The problem is if they can buff them. Right. Um. So many packs. Oh, we got our first epic. Sudden Genesis. Summon copies of your damaged minion. Ooh, that's 
That is nice. Well, that's a that's warrior. So that's like you throw down um, whirlwind or something, damage everything, and then uh -huh. just right. summon them all. Right, that'd be cool. Yeah, you know, especially if you have some like charge minions. Yes. We got five four with adapt. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Eh. But it's, uh, that's not bad for one. It's not great, but it's gimmicky. Uh, stealth and Poisonous. Always like Stealth and Poison together on one card. Basically, you have a next turn, you're definitely going to kill something. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We got another Tarlord. Second Epic, Stampede. Each time you play a beast this turn, add a random... Oh, okay, so this is the equivalent of the uh, Hunter's Spell card. Mammic Paw, draw a card and add a copy of it to your hand. Let's see. No legendaries yet. Give weapon poisonous. Hopefully get some. I'll probably get like one. Here's hoping. You're holding a menu with five or more attack. Adapt. Okay, so you can give it some health, so that's probably good. After some minion attacks a hero, adapt. Okay, so this one can just keep adapting. What does that mean? Uh, adapt is the new mechanic in this expansion. It's basically this, you. I think there's eight different buffs, mm -hmm. and when it has adapt, it will randomly choose three of them. Oh, and you get to, to pick. Which and you one. get to pick which one you oh, want it to cool. have. So like this one is a six cost five five with taunt with adapt. Mm -hmm. So like it could probably get like extra health, extra attack, right. wind fury, stealth. Basically, all that kind of stuff. Cool, cool. So, the, the trade-off with is you aren't guaranteed to get what you want. Oh, legendary! Jungle Giants. I got the Druid. Summon five minions with five attack or more and reward Barnabas. I don't know what Barnabas is. I don't know either. But we at least have our first legendary in the one deck I play the least. Because <laughs> I don't play Ramp Druid very much. Alright, we got double rares. Some of the 5 5 Devil Sar. In addition, um, Taunt. Discover a Taunt minion. So, yeah, there's a lot of Taunt coming up, seem seems. Way. I feel like. I haven't done any effort to really study what's going to happen here. Use friendly minion. Summon a copy of it. That's nice. That's why they removed Ragnaros. Yep. Ooh, I like the art on that one. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, discard two RAM cards. Ugh. But it is a 3-8 for four. Yep. With taunt. Once again, the big taunts. Yes. There's a lot of beasts and there's a lot of taunting. I feel like they're trying to bring more of the game into the, like, hit minions hitting minions. Uh -huh. Opposed to being, okay, we use spells to clear. Right. And then hit face. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're trying to get away from that, but I could be wrong. Summon two one one silver hand recruits. That's actually uh, that could combo really well. Mm -hmm. Draw two one cost minions from your deck. Good utility. Hmm. See, I just feel like this this thing is so. I don't know how this. I feel about that one yet. Add a razor pedal to your hand that deals one damage. Boom. Boom. Oh! 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 Sun keeper turn. Six cost taunt battle cry. Set all other minions' attack and health to three. Huh. So you know I was just talking about that card that's one cost summon two one ones. Yeah. That's what you combo with this. Yes. You flood your board with one ones. You throw him down. And they all become three threes. And suddenly you have a board full of things that are not really easy to deal with unless you have like like flame strikes or brawls or something. Right. Yo, like an explosive trap won't kill them. Yeah. Um, oh man, good good pack. Um, replace your deck with copies of Discover a Card. That's cute. So basically your entire deck just becomes a random. Right. An RNG. Uh -huh. So not going to be seen competitive. Uh, reduce the cost of elementals in your hand by one. That's... So Shaman Element decks going to be centering around this guy coming out turn one or two. Yep. For the orange glow. There's about free form amber. Discover a minion that costs eight or more and then summon it. Oh wow. I mean it costs eight. So. It does, but you know, 
you could get some really you could get some shit out of this or you could get some really good stuff. Yep. Also, 4 8 with Winfrey for. I just. Uh, eh. 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 That adapt. Yeah. If you can give it adapt, it might be good. Do rares. Play an elemental last turn. Discover an elemental after your hero attacks somebody. Yeah, so once again, that entire 1 1 deck. Yeah. Uh, for the Paladin class. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting some... Each each deck seems like it definitely has its focus this season. Yes. I'm in 3-1. Oh, look, Murloc. <laughs> um, corrupt every minion. Destroy them at the start of your next turn. Huh. I don't know if this is good. Well, I'm sure we'll find out. Because on the other hand, they still get a turn with all their minions, so they may just throw them into yours anyway. Right. And you have to, like, hold out. I guess if you can b combo it with, like, a really big taunt? Maybe. Because you throw this down first, then you summon your stuff behind it so it doesn't get corrupted. Right. So, maybe. Boom. Adaption. Adapt to friendly minion. Nine cost, six, ten with taunt. Eh. Air elemental, this is nice. Oh, that's cool. One cost, two, one, that can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Yeah. So, you know, don't have to worry about throwing this out against a mage. Yes. Like, a rogue can still stab it, but they're at least going to take two of the face to do it. Yeah. So, meh. Um, and they're going to use, like, all of their turn two to do it, because they'll use all their mana. So that's that's not... That could be good on turn one. Outside of that, it's not great, though. Right. Let's go with the next one. We'll have to click all the cards, of course. I love this snail. Oh, yeah? Uh, it, just look at its face. Yeah. A great face. I, I guess so. Yes. So. It's also a two cost, one, two with taunt and poisonous. Yeah. I like that. Um, Battle card, give a friendly murloc plus one, plus one. Always useful so that the murloc decks continue to reign supreme. Yep. Are murloc decks actually no. reigning supreme? No, but I like playing as murloc decks. Okay, fair enough. Hallucination, Direhorn Hatchling. Earthen Scales, give a friendly minion plus one plus one, then gain armor equal to its attack. Oh. Cool. Okay, that could be nice survivability for the druid there. Mm -hmm. For one cost. Got an epic. epic. Bright Eyed Scout, draw a card, change its cost to five. See, it's a four cost, so the idea is you play this on turn four. Mm -hmm. You hopefully pull something big, and it's your turn five play. Yep. Otherwise, you. I, Otherwise, you draw one. Yeah. One cost, and then it becomes a five cost. And you're yeah. Like, Fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna see competitive. Um, if you're holding a minion with five or more attack, then this thing gets to adapt. Okay. Next. Shimmering Tempest, Silverhand recruits. Next. Looking for things we haven't seen yet. Here's the Volcanosaur. Here's the... It double adapts. It adapts, then it adapts. My god. Everyone who logged in yesterday got a free one. Yep. I'm sure you did it totally. I did. Good. It's gold. It was gold. Tar Lord. Devil Sauri... Nah, not... It's, it's the Nerubian Egg. Mm -hmm. The Nerubian Egg hath returned. Bang, 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 bang. Frozen Crusher after so many attacks. Freeze it. Oh, okay. So it's a 6 cost, 8-8, eight, eight, but it can only attack every other turn. Ah, uh, okay. Because it it'll freeze. Right. Unless you can silence it. Yes. Alternatively, if you give it Taunt... Yeah. That could work out in your favor as well. Yes. You get six costs plus whatever you needed to give it taunt. Yeah. Eight eight taunt. That's not bad. Uh, Bright Eyed Scout, another one of those. Steam Surger. The flame geyser to your hand. Let's see. The ten cost seven fourteen. Jeez. The Ultra Soul. Look at his face. He's very happy to be there. He is just happy to be here, folks. Choose a minion, summon a copy. We're almost halfway through the packs. My goodness. Another epic. epic. Oh! Two epics. Two rares, one Volcanosaur, one Direhorn Hatchling. Discover a copy of a spell in your deck. That's nice. 
Uh, living mana. Transform your mana crystals into 2 2 minions. Recover the mana when they die. This card is silly. Uh huh. And I don't know if it's good. <laughs> oh, we'll find out. Because basically you lose all of your mana. Right. But you do get a board of 2 2s. Yep. And if you have that thing that, um,. It, the thing is, you need to get them killed quickly, or else you're not going to be able to do anything next turn. No, oh, that's fair. So it's sort of a, just get them out there, do one turn of stuff. Right. See, what I want to know is, recover the mana when they die. So if I've summoned them, then it comes to my next turn, then I kill them all. Mm -hmm. Do I get the mana back to spend that turn, or are they empty crystals? That's what I don't know. Right. Well. If they're empty, it's kind of bad. If yeah. they're full, I can see some merit. Yes. Uh, evolve spores, adapt all minions. Alright, so we're looking for another two legendaries after the performance. I'd like something for one of the other classes I actually play a bit more, though. Right. Which classes do you play most? Um, I tend to play Warrior and not Pirate Warrior, damn it. Uh, Warrior, I do play Paladin, which I got the Paladin for that, so that was alright. Mm -hmm. um, and and Mage. Ah. But I'm, I'm not like, set on them. I just want some, like, some cool effects. Right. There oh! You go. Fire of Plume's Heart. Warrior Quest. There we go. Play seven Taunt minions, and I get Sulfurus. Apparently. Well, Sulfurus is a legendary, like, it's, it's, um, Ragnaros' hammer. Oh, okay. So, I don't know what the actual card Sulfurus does, but if I play a really heavy Taunt deck, I get it. Yes. So we'll be trying to make a Sulfurus deck at some point, apparently. Apparently. Forgive the trains in the background. Uh, next up, we got Curious Glimmer Root. He looks very curious. He does. Look at three cards. Guess which one started in your opponent's deck to get a copy of it. That's... Weird. Funny. I... Huh. I don't know. I don't know if that's good. The 3 for 3-3, three, three, so mediocre. But it... I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Huh. Summon a random minion, you discarded this game. That's good for the Warlock's discard decks. Yep. Okay, we got two rares. Um, Spike Ridge Steed. Give a minion 2-6 and taunt. That's... Pretty good. Six mana, though. Yeah. It does summon a Stegadon when it dies. dies yeah. Man. Now, there, I have so many Direhorn Hatchlings. I think that's like the fourth or the fifth. Well, you can turn them into dust. Oh, I will. Uh, another Steed. Come on. I want more Legends. Epics are nice. Bitter Tide Hydra. When this minion takes damage, deal three damage to your hero. Ooh. Because he's a 5 cost 8-8. Eight, eight. Right. This I could see some use. Yeah. Like, it's not good in rushed situations. Mm -hmm. This almost I could see in like a warrior deck where you're building a lot of armor so you yeah. can kind of eat it. The problem is you can't really use this to pick off small things. This is a you summon it and you're going for face. Yes. Because if, if they kill you by like a million cuts. Because uh -huh. think about it, if they throw like 5 one ones at this thing, mm -hmm. you're taking 15 damage to the face because of it. Ooh, yeah. So that, there's a problem there. Yeah, yeah. This. This is going to be... Oh, wow. Your hero power gives A, B's 2-2. Two, two. This is going it's to be... make Hunters pretty impressive. I believe this is going... Well, Hunters were already impressive. This, is, I feel like, is going to revitalize them. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Up, oh, Gold Corrupting Mist. Always good. And Tile Surge. Deal four damage to a minion, restore four health to your shaman. That's nice. Alright, we're getting to the, the bottom. Whoa! Open the way gate! Oh, cast six spells that did not start in your deck. Time warp. I don't know what time warp is. I don't either. But so this is very much a you get random cards, you cast them to. Right. Succeed at that. Let's see. Cornered Sentry. 
Summon three 1-1 one, one Raptors for your opponent. Two six, that's actually pretty good. Because I will say this, there, there's a lot of things with Taunt, mm -hmm. and while there's things with Adapt, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of cards that give other cards Taunt. Yes. Well, I assume you can get that in through Adapt, though, right? You can. Oh! Jungle Giants. Summon five minions with five more attack, and you get Barnabas. I'm at least getting a lot of the quests. Yes. All right. Nothing major. Here, Tully. You, you can reveal the cards for a bit. Let's see if you have better luck than I. Let's see. Barrage Caller. Choose a friendly minion. Summon a 1-1. One, one. Eh, could be. With Ragnaros out, that's not quite what it was. Right. Oh, there's an epic. It's epic. A Primordial Drake. 4-8 taunt for 8. Battlecry deal 2 damage to all other minions. Maybe. 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 8 costs, though, so that's... That's a lot of mana. Basically, your turn. Two rares. Trigger a friendly man's death rattle. That's nice. Down to the final ten. Indeed. Looking for one more legendary. On this deck. Can't attack. A humongous resolute. They really like these cards, but three mana, four eight. That's once again, you gotta give it taunt. Yeah. Or silence. Yeah. I haven't seen much silence, so. Well, you can still use other cards from Some. previous yeah, ones, yeah. right? Okay, nothing of note. Boom. Bam. We have Mimic Pod draw a card and add a copy. Oh, so you get two cards. Cool. Could be good. A little RNG to see, but. Epic. Epic. Another Primordial Glyph for the mages. Yep. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be making a Disco Discovery Mage deck since I have that quest. Yes. Nothing else? A lot of Paladin, I feel like, in this series. Yes. Maybe yep. maybe just the gold sticking out to me when we see it. Oof. I want them all five to be Razor Petal Lashers. Oh, that would have been funny. It is possible. Really? Yeah. You can get five legendaries in the pack. The odds are astronomically low, but it can't happen. Huh. I've seen close. I've seen like a four legendary, one epic. Really? Not for me, but I've seen like a video. Wow. Deal 15 ma damage, randomly split among all minions. That's a good card. Oh, yeah? 15 damage to the... So if you have nothing on the board, mm -hmm. it's only going to hit theirs. Right. Um. So that's that's good board clear. Yes. Right there. Yeah, you're, it's overload too, but still, that's that's good. I could be completely wrong though. Oh! Make it good. Make it good, Atoli. Make it good. It's uh the Mosh Queen. My seven one cost minions, and we get Queen Karnasa. Cool. Fair enough. Final two packs are all me. <laughs> okay. You weren't looking at the screen, I'm sorry. Alright. Final one, people. I need good juju. Give me all the juju. Give me all the juju. I kind of broke it there a little. He did. Nope. Mm, nope. No, no. I have failed you, folks. It's okay. All right, Spike Ridge Steed, and that is all that she wrote. Let's see what we have in the way of dust. Oh yeah, we got a lot of new cards, of course. We have 1,355 dust. 18 rares and 119 comments. My goodness. Indeed. Let's see. Um, let's just take a look and see if there are any cards that... We did not get in common. Okay. 
So, for those who don't know, I kind of have this habit of what I'll do when an expansion comes out is I'll just go through, make sure I have two of every single common. Um, we will disenchant golds. Because I'm a bad person. Okay, so what we do is we look for any commons we don't have two of yet. Oh, there's one. And we make sure that we have two of them, even if they're not good. Even if they are not good. Why? Because... I mean, we, we're looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, it looks like you Shockingly, got. you spend, like... You give Blizzard, like, 50-something dollars, and you get a decent amount of cards. Indeed. I'm hurting it totally every time I disenchant a gold. No, you're not. I don't care. I thought you might. I mean, they're cool-looking, but whatever. They're cool-looking, but the thing is... Is I can use the dust. Yes. Look. He's so sad that I'm gonna do this to him. He is. Aw. Too bad. No room for your kind here. Oh my god, I'm actually... Nope. I, I, what? Nope. Uh, yep, one. yep. I may actually have enough dust to create a legendary. My god. You can create... You see, you can create golds, but they cost a lot. Right. Okay. Uh, oh. I almost disenchanted it. Oops. Okay, we're good there. And we're good there. Okay, now we'll go to rares. Rare. Yeah, see, this is where... This is where I'm going to have to craft a lot, and I'm going to hold off on doing all this until I'm figuring out what I need for decks. Right. Because these will cost like a hundred each. Yes. Not the free one you got? Yep. <laughs> what? I heard her. I heard her, folks. I knew it. Alright, not bad. Like I said, I'll have to make some decks. I'll have to go back through everything. But that is all that she wrote. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Bandwagon Jumping. I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And it's Fentoli. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.